था आप अपनी स्क्रीन पे देख सकते हैं So I'm I'm on the moon right now. You know? <laughs> Literally, tears rolled down my eyes looking at it. I watched it along with our entire team. So we all were super inspired uh, looking at this great history unveiling right before our eyes. Today we are uh, become the fourth country in the world who successfully landed on the moon and the first country to actually land on the South Pole. I think doing it in the second attempt is like phenomenal. I would say. This time they tested to six sigma, you know, double, uh, double the kind of testing, which is very extreme testing, uh, which uh, they have done. We have done it at a cost which is less than uh, what it took to make the movie Gravity or Interstellar. This has put India on the spotlight. The objective is to get as much uh, scientific data about the moon as possible. There are regions in South Pole. Where there is never sunlight, and most of scientists believe that there is ice, you know, water ice, and this also opens up uh, as a wide frontier for uh, you know space exploration. So there'll be more, more and more needs of uh, uh, you know launching to uh, space, and probably you know this inspires us even you know one day like probably you know we launch a uh, probe to the moon. So as an Indian today, I'm so proud. time to now go prepare talk to you in details thank you so much pavan this is like never in my entire journey i've done interaction where on just a chat somebody is just agree to come so thank you so much for this and uh, on india podcast thanks for your time thanks thanks anku you know uh, great to meet again yeah my main thing from you understanding is how do you feel right now because I mean, everybody's uh, on the edge you I'm, have i'm on So I'm I'm on the moon right now. You know? <laughs> it's like you know, it's a crazy time. Uh, you know, literally tears rolled down my eyes looking at it with a uh, lot of pride, a lot of excitement, and can't can't forget this moment. And in fact, I watched it along with our entire team. So we all were super inspired uh, looking at this great history unveiling right before our eyes. And uh, I mean, no words to describe how I felt. Yeah. I want to understand for people to now understand the importance of this victory. सबने देख लिया है बट एक सिंपल अंडरस्टैंडिंग में चंद्रयान 3 का सक्सेस क्या है व्हाट डू वी मीन बाय दैट सी इट इट आई विल जस्ट गिव यू दैट इन द लास्ट 5 अटेम्प्ट्स टू लैंड ऑन द मून यू नो एंड बाय द एंटायर ग्लोब फोर हैव फेल्ड नो सो जस्ट इमेजिन हाउ डिफिकल्ट इट इज टू एक्चुअली लैंड समथिंग ऑन 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 अ सेलेस्टियल बॉडी 3 लाख 84000 किलोमीटर अवे and uh, and then like it's so difficult so challenging in fact you know even the chandrayaan 2 we had some uh, issue glitch in the last minute we couldn't land and then we got back in four years and then isro yes. the entire seed of isro scientists you know it's, it's amazing uh, story of resilience which uh, has been showcased and now today we are uh, become the fourth country in the world you know the light we joined the light club of four countries in the world who successfully landed on the moon and the first country to actually land on the south pole so as an indian today i'm so proud you know and and south pole is so difficult and in terrain and you know it has all the signs you know which we are looking for probably centuries and uh, i think that this will be a great scientific mission and also great demonstration of india's capability and you know starting from uh, you know transporting rockets and satellites uh, via bicycle and you know uh, uh, bullock carts now you know we have and uh, that is like 50 years ago so now we have come to a place where we have become a uh, top four country in the world we have the capability to land on the moon and now moon is basically the gateway for the future uh, you know for the future of space exploration and that's where we are and a lot of science uh, in uh, today's mission is going to come up and i mean and the tremendous resilience of team is so to come back uh, and then you know make it happen is really proud moment for every indian when now you understand the technical aspect kitna mushkil hota hai for the last few meters also the counting to go like yeah. which land or not you coming you have been heading sky routes you have given a new direction to the whole satellite launching uh, ambition in india which we are proud of you so how do you explain how difficult is that and critical till the last minute like you said south pole mein landing is difficult explain yeah yeah 
Yes, yes. So, so, so basically the South Pole is full of, uh, you know, very bad terrain and to land on the moon, you know, it's not like a flat surface or a, you know, slab of concrete where you land. It's a very, very, uh, you know, disoriented surface with, uh, you know, craters, boulders, you know, you, you, you ask for the, uh, you know, most difficult terrain to land uh, with four legs and that to send from Earth. You know, I think it's very, very difficult uh, problem to solve. And as I mentioned, you know, just in the last five attempts is the world made it's since 2019, four attempts are failed, you know, by four different countries. So, so that's the kind of uh, difficulty it is and uh, which has been achieved. Yeah. What do you think we must have done it right this time? What have we done right this time for it to be happening? Yes, yes. So, so what the uh, scientists have done is like very robust testing and all the design margins, what is it called, you know, if, uh, uh, you know, uh, what we call uh, the resilience to failure has increased in everything. You know, we had more sensors, more electronics. You know, we had more, uh, uh, you know, more landing area, 40 times bigger landing area. You know, in fact, we have took the images of the landing site, uh, you know, using a Chandrayaan uh, mission, Chandrayaan 2 mission, which had an orbiter. It, it took the images and that image is pre-fed uh, to the current mission, you know, and, and then um, uh, and, and there are plenty of changes. In fact, uh, uh, people generally do, uh, you know, three, three, something called three sigma testing, yes. you know, they're testing it all different dispersions possible in the mission. This time they tested it to six sigma, you know, double, uh, double the kind of testing, which is very extreme testing, uh, which uh, they have done. And uh, yeah. The two things I get, one, the earlier failures helped in this achievement. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think uh, the earlier failure has given us a lot of data. And in fact, uh, the earlier uh, part of the mission, which was the orbiter, the orbit around the moon, actually captured all the landing sites and then it gave us more understanding about the terrain. And that got fed into this uh, system. And the failure which happened last time has all, uh, has all left us in understanding uh, what exactly to solve, where to, uh, you know, attack, where to increase the design. Uh, margins, etc., etc. You know, it, it really helped a lot in making it happen. Over As someone who has been an IIT and who's worked in ISRO, I've known that story of yours, your journey. You know how much it takes to keep trying. Job yeah, as yeah. scientist, how much it takes for you to keep trying? How many attempts the patients can be held? See, you'll not believe. In fact, you know the original moon landing attempts which happened in the 1960s, right? So there were like tens of failures before the first landing attempt even happened. You know, for example, even Russia, which uh, which which actually USSR at that time, yes. which actually landed uh, the first uh, soft landed uh, spacecraft on the moon, it, it had like eight successive failures, you know, before it actually landed. Uh, you know, so it's 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 uh, you know it is a game which is required to learn. Uh, you know, iterations which need to be learned. I think doing it in the second attempt is like phenomenal. I would say. You know, and it saves a lot of cost to us in terms of taking the attempt. How does that go? in benefit for the country now? Yeah, absolutely. So, so fundamentally, you know, we have done it at a cost of around $75 million, you know, which is which is less than how, what it took to make the movie, uh, you know, Gravity or Interstellar or even Bahubali, uh, uh, you know, and, and even today, uh, uh, you know, all the new movies which people are making, right? Even Mission Impossible is a Mission Impossible, which is made at, at a price much, much lower than uh, the actual mission, mission Impossible. And so that, that's where we are. We are already at the most cost efficient thing which ever done in the world. And then doing it within two missions is also a great major milestone. And also doing first time in the South Pole, which nobody has done before, and getting new science, which nobody has acquired before. I think it's a phenomenal kind of output for the kind of efforts and the capital put in by the uh, you know, taxpayer. So one thing I want to know from you now is, uh, now it has opened the gate for the satellite space exploration for India. How do you yeah. define how is it opened it for all? Yeah, so so in fact, this has put India on the spotlight, you know, so we as I mentioned, like we, uh, we are like become the top four countries uh, in the world who have this capability and moon is the gateway of which was space exploration because it's the closest celestial body having good amount of resources to build a space economy. So that's where like, you know, it has opened space for all and in fact, getting things from moon and building uh, a, an orbital economy is actually 20 times more efficient than taking resources from the Earth and going to space because Earth has huge gravity well, uh, you know, and so getting resources from moon is like 20 times more energy efficient. So this actually opens up this capability of landing on the moon actually makes it very, very efficient to build the future space economy, which which is the next frontier for humanity. We can now set up the space station at moon. Is that what we are attempting to see? Yeah. From? How does this work? 
in simple yeah so so yeah so basically for this mission per se you know the the objective is very simple the objective is to get as much uh, scientific data about the moon as possible like okay. uh, you know studying the soil or the regolith you know studying the, the slight atmosphere about the ground uh, about the regolith you know studying how to land how to maneuver studying what is the kind of surface uh, uh, which uh, moon has uh, you know and and, uh, and and then several understanding then and basically south pole there are regions in south pole where there is never sunlight you know there, there was like literally never has face uh, face sunlight and most uh, most of scientists believe that there is ice you know water ice uh, in that uh, in that region and uh, because we landed at the south pole we also want to see you know uh, uh, you know find out and discover like water ice uh, there and that could show uh, as also like the understanding of the history of the universe you know if there is for example microbial activity there we know that you know life is not just belongs to earth right so so like that there is tremendous science which comes from learning the moon that is the core object of this mission but in the future you know this sets the trend for the, you know extracting the resource once you land you know you know how to come out of uh, uh, moon as well you know you know how to extract resources create a you know uh, uh, orbit around the moon space stations around the moon and also space stations around the earth uh, you know getting uh, uh, getting resources from moon and going to the uh, you know earth orbit etc etc there's plenty of options open in the next decades this is a great beginning as i mentioned only four countries have achieved it and uh, and, and and it's i think a wonderful beginning to create a great uh, you know frontier for human exploration in the future and from skyroots point of view i want to understand now do we see more of a satellite uh, launching vehicle going there how will this set up a goal and how successful can they be is it going to be one successful attempt or all can look at it So yeah so 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 the learnings are permanent so i think tomorrow if you want to land on the moon i think we can uh, do it as india uh, we have that capability we have that know how and uh, you know and and this also opens up uh, as a wide frontier for uh, you know space exploration so there'll be more more and more needs of uh, uh, you know launching to uh, space and in fact though we focus skyroot focus purely on launching satellites and uh, probably you know this inspires us even you know one day like probably you know we'll launch a uh, probe to the moon uh, yeah. right so 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 the, the need is uh, going to increase exponentially down the line uh, both for going getting into orbit around earth using satellites uh, I mean, like for, for satellites or you know going beyond and exploring you know various planets and you know like that is creating an economy beyond earth which is also the core vision of skyroot as well we want to you know open space for all uh, is our core aim i think this mission inspires us and we believe that as an indian right we are capable of doing much more than what we think uh, Uh, yeah, and and in fact, like even if there's a failure, we have the capability to come back and uh, you know create history again. Yeah. One last question: You have worked in ISRO also, as I know it. Yeah. How yeah. do you think this has come for them? Because you have been there, someone who's been part of that family. How do you yeah. look at yeah. the the you know the excitement they're going through, the patience? Yeah. You get better. Can you share? Yeah. So so I I can actually connect with uh, you know what an ISRO scientist felt uh, feels after. Uh, you know the chandrayaan 2 landing did not succeed you know so so there's a lot of criticism in fact you might have seen the video where like the chairman of isro at that time you know dr shivan uh, was crying after the uh, you know event and then the prime minister had to console him right that's the kind of emotion which the entire organization felt uh, you know post that because that's not our dna you know we are always having a winning dna and that uh, that failure actually is very emotional uh, for the entire uh, Uh, you know is so community and that's where you know coming back to it and you know clinching it in the next attempt with such precision and such historic timeline with so much of understanding so much of data i mean as an as an ex isro person i mean i feel really really proud that i was once part of that family and also it's really inspiring to see from outside as well it's inspiring to see you know how an organization uh, can be so resilient you know come back so well so quick so perfect Uh, uh you know in such a short period of time i think is a phenomenal uh probably a great lesson and also a great inspirational uh, uh you know tale for everybody you know for every indian and like the entire the world as well yeah we are very privileged to have spoken to you the way you've given us the understanding in such a short notice so thank Wonderful. you so much pavan it is a great and all the best to skyroots i really look up to this as opening gates for more and more exploration space beyond satellite as you said now yeah. and yeah. we hope that comes through very very soon thank so, you thanks thanks sanku thanks a lot